The QB competition was narrowed down to two after Miles Brennan took to social media mid-August, announcing he was stepping away from football. Leaving Jaden Daniels and Garrett Nussmeyer as head runners for the job after head coach Brian Kelly decided to redshirt freshman Walker Howard. After a press conference Monday heading into preparation for their season opener against FSU, Kelly says he's made his decision on who gets the QB1 title but doesn't plan on announcing it. Yeah, we have. Uh, we've made a decision, but I'm not going to announce it publicly. Um, certain, certainly, I think everybody here wants to know who the quarterback is. I get that. But I think it's a tactical advantage for us not to announce it. So I'm going to hold that. Both quarterbacks are important assets to the team and hold resumes that bring depth to the Tigers' offense. Jaden Daniels adds to the run element of the game. The dual threat quarterback rushed for 1,300 yards and 16 touchdowns with a passing rate of over 6,000 yards and 32 touchdowns while at Arizona State. Quarterback returner Gary Nussmeyer is known to have a gunslinger arm and appeared in four games in the 2021 season before redshirting. In what some can say was his best game versus Arkansas, Nussmeyer took over for Max Johnson where he passed for 179 yards and one touchdown. And even though it's a race for the same spot, they still support one another. He's a heck of a player. Um, you know, he's, he's great with his feet. He's got a great arm. Um, you know, there's a lot of things I take away from watching Jaden every day. Like I said, it doesn't matter who they start. You know, I, I, it's a great quarterback room. It's one of the top quarterback rooms in the, in the country. So, you know, we got talented guys all around. Fans will find out who got the job on September 4th when the Tigers head to New Orleans to face off against the Seminoles of Florida State. For Tiger TV Sports, I'm Katera Brewer.